is a time when magic is more powerful than science, and only those who control the magic control destiny. They are the visionaries. Hey YouTube, what's going on? Uh, my last video, I kind of showed you this box here of comic books that I picked up. It's pretty full. This is my little box of comics, and right behind it, back here, is the big box of comics I showed in one of my very first videos. But uh, if you saw the video intro that I did this time, <clears throat> from a cartoon back in the 80s, uh, anybody who's my age would remember that cartoon. And uh, in this box, there's actually a couple issues of The Visionaries. If everybody remembers the toy line, it came with little holographic figures on their chest. <coughs> and I just happened to find mine the other day. And the only one that I ever had was this little guy here. If you can kind of see on his chest somewhere, maybe. Somewhere. There's a little hologram. That's the one with the eagle. I don't have his little staff anymore. I have no idea where that went. But there was issues number one and number two in there. And uh, this is probably going to be a couple of videos to do all the boxes, books in this box. So this time I'm going to do uh, just some of the Marvel books that were in there and some of the DC issues that were in there. So there's issues one and two of Visionaries. Now this is, this is a pretty cool book. I didn't know much Harley, but a lot of the stuff that was in this box. A lot of the independent stuff. Uh, this is uh, from Epic and Marvel. It's uh, Black Dragon issue one of six. And when I picked this box up from this guy on, on Craigslist, he just listed that it was a box that he had gotten, donated to him, and I would, there was more in the collection. And these are the books that he just didn't want or he didn't didn't want, didn't think he was going to read. So I put them on Craigslist for free. So me and a buddy of mine drove about an hour to Buffalo, hour back, knocked on his door, handed me the box, you know, said, you know, have a good night. And uh, he said mostly just a lot of in, in, image comics and, and some independence that he wasn't going to read, so I figured out, uh, what the hell, take a chance. This is another series I have no idea, this is from, I think, uh, early 90s, Digitech, one of the four issue limited series. And there's actually a few issues of this, this uh, Nick Fury, Agent S.H.I.E.L.D., is used five, six, seven, sorry for the glare, and number eight. And then, another, like I said, another series I had no clue, early 90s stuff. This wild thing, this is four and five, and there's some random issue of the crew, number three. Um, a lot of that stuff is decent shape, nothing great, nothing great. Uh, only I think only the shield books itself were actually came in bags and boards. So uh, let's just move on to some of the DC vertical vertigo, um, some wild storm books that were in there. I'm trying to make this as quick as possible. Another series I have no idea about. I didn't collect a whole lot of DC stuff back in the early 2000, 2005. It's Breach with uh, Superman on the cover. Um, random issue of Legion number 41. This Resurrection Man issue 19. Uh, Dark Stars. No idea what this is about. Since uh, from 93 issues 9, 10, 11. And 12. And random issue of Batman Beyond number 7 from 2000, year 2000. Issues, a couple of issues of number 2 of Olmec. This is a recent one from uh, 06. So issues 2, two of those, and issue 3. This is a 8 part limited series. Uh, a couple of issues of Man Bat. It's 2 of 5 and 3 of 5. Two 
And then this is the Titans, number two. The new Titans, number 117. And I thought this was pretty cool. This is actually a pretty thicker book. Oh, not this one, not this next one. This is uh, Tales of Teen Titans 78. And this is pretty cool. It's actually a little thicker book than the other ones. The teen, the new, the new Teen Titans number nine. The final battle. That's a pretty, really cool cover. And this is pretty cool. This is kind of like a little square bound book. This is JLA Haven, the arrival. I guess this was kind of a, a book that came out before this, before this series did. This is called. This is just a uh, Haven. The Broken City. So I think there's I think there's eight issues of this, I believe. So there's number two. Oh, excuse me, number five. Number five. So that's kind of neat. And then moving on to some other stuff here. Let's see. I got it's from Vertical Hellblazer Special. Bad Blood. Number three of four. Some issue, random issue of Cobalt. Actually, number first issue of Cobalt. Don't know anything about that. This is, uh, Books of Magic. Again, another thing I have no clue about. This is a series called Human Race. 4 or 7. 6, issue 6. A couple issues of number 6. This is a book. I'm not sure when this came out. I didn't really look flip through it, but it's our Vermillion. Issues two of that. And number seven. This is an issue of Bloody Mary from Helix or DC Comics. Everybody knows uh, Garth Ennis. This is Bloody Mary, uh, number two. This is a testament. Number twenty. And this is a, a Wildstorm special. So it's a, a square bound book. And it's got um, some random stories in there. Some interesting, pretty artwork in there. This has got yeah some random stories in there. This is the Intimates. And I said, don't know a whole lot about these things. So if anybody does, you know, leave a comment. Uh, I'm not even sure issue number. This is all issue eight. Here's issue five and issue six of that series. And last little bit for this video. I think there's close to, I didn't count them all, but I think there's quite close to 200 books in this box. This is the, the Authority, number 16, number 27. Uh, this is another series of Authority, issue 4 of 4. I oh, thought this is pretty cool. It's a series called High Roads, Cliffhanger. Uh, this is 5 of 6. This is really cool. This has probably got some pretty cool art in it. Uh, that little, 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 little Hitler in there. That was a pretty cool issue. Um, uh, these are five issues. This is actually in pretty good shape. If I can find some more of these, I'll definitely pick some more of these up. Uh, this issue of Majestic number nine. Uh, this is Kamikaze, I believe it's called. Issue two and three. Many time you get a box of books for free, I'll definitely take a look at them. This is a uh, extinction event, two of five. This is uh, Wildcats, four of nine. This is a Point Blank. This is actually pretty cool. It's an Ed Brubaker book, which uh, I like a lot of his work, so I'll definitely try to find some more of these. Uh, a few issues of World of Warcraft. 
Uh, my nephew collects a bunch of these. I'm going to see if he has these. I'm going to give these to him. So there's three, six. Sorry for the glitter on this. And seven. Twenty-two. And this is the resistance. I guess I got a little bit of run of these. A couple issues of number one. Number two. Three, four. There's number six. Two issues of number seven. I have no idea how many in that series, but that's pretty interesting. Oh, these are really cool. I don't know anything about this, but I love the cover of this one. This is. Um, Rockin, Rokin, I think it's pronounced, I have no idea how to pronounce it, but uh, it's the first barbaric issue, that's a pretty cool cover on there, so I get issues one, two, I flip through these ones, these, these ones actually look pretty cool, it's two, and then six of six, and then this series, got another four books of these, it's American Way, this is two of eight, This is three, four, and issue five. So that's all for part one. Uh, part two will probably have some some image books. There's uh, Dark by Dark Horse. Uh, a bunch of random publishers never heard of. I'm sure uh, Mr. Why Not Art has heard a bunch of these. <laughs> so uh, that's all for part one. So we'll see you for part two. Thanks. Bye.